Welcome to TradeTheNBA.com. This is John. This report is for the 24th. And, well, we had a little bit of a retrace back in there. Again, uh, you know, we had some mistaken comments suggesting that the government shut down over the wall funding and that would cause things to start. We're beginning the morning here with a retraction of those comments suggesting that there is peace and happiness. Um, we did have the move here of the uh, DOC orange below the red, which is typically the buy. We also noticed, though, at the same time, we were having a softness in midterm buyers. We knew that uh, long-term buyers were going to be needed to push forward, and they're about to approach that uh, improvement in the 7.5 zone here. If they can get above that, that should be enough spark to get us right back to where we were from before. Um, Short-term buyers have lifted this up pretty quickly, and uh, they're fading off a little bit. And a little more short activity, uh, put a little more down pressure, but that will actually be the driving force to break back up above and get towards that uh, ABM yellow. Uh, again, pretty straightforward here because uh, you get the ABM green and that, and above that at the 58 level would be, you know, solid long territory below. It's a little bit more murky. Um, however, with the daily being in a positive uh, mode at this particular point, uh, you got to look towards the long side of things. The NASDAQ is a slightly bit better. Uh, didn't get as much depth into uh, the previous day's candle and all that is is just a mean reversion just filled in some of it again as long as the euro keeps moving higher and staying up in this range uh, i think the s p is pretty safe haven um, from an overall standpoint uh, continued flight to bonds is just a strange occurrence that suggests the collapse of the economy or a lack of faith in stocks um, so, but you know, it's an interesting thing about fear. Fear usually goes the opposite direction of the crowd, and the crowd suggesting that everything's about to fall apart. Uh, it's likely to face some difficulties. Um, I know it's counterintuitive, but that's typically the way things work. When everyone's uh, one side of it, uh, things tend to go because it's too easy to pick them off uh, because everyone's lopsidedly uh, maneuvered. And in this particular case, they're on the sidelines. Um, we're moving short, and it's not been an effective strategy for, oh, geez, the whole year they've been talking about it. Uh, well, uh, rebounding. So, again, you know, despite, like I said, the inventories is not really um, a crucial factor as much as the amount of um, capacity that's being used, the fact that more capacity comes online is not a problem. It's really about how much demand and not whether or not you have too much in supply. Uh, because increased demand means that you're going to be seeing bigger use, and that means growing economy, and that is also bullish for the market. Um, no surprise with gold. We expect it to continue to maintain its highs and climb. Not a surprise there. A little bit of weakness to start out. All we've been doing for cheese, if I just shrink this, is ridiculous day. Came back down. We popped up a little bit. Every time we hit the 50%, we got into trouble right there. Broke down. Come back again. And every time we ended up with that steel below uh, cyan, we uh, suffered uh, fairly dramatically. And then we came down and reset uh, right down here at the bottom again, and that's broken. Now, this time we're over the 50%. We should move back to the 100 Again, it's always one of those things when you see falling highs, um, usually you're moving back to the high. In this case, it did. And when you see falling lows, then usually you want to head back up towards the highs. It's pretty consistent with that... Uh, scenario uh, and I kind of like seeing that because it gives you an idea when you're about to approach some of these uh, levels that would not otherwise show up on a regular Fibonacci retrace and that um, they tend to have important significance when we see the interaction with our DOC um, it could certainly play off the particularly in this case you're at a 23% right at the long algo and then you get the steel breaking above cyan well that's always been bullish just like when it crosses below uh, it tends to be bearish you throw that into a crossover of uh, midterm buyers going down and you're going to get a bit more of a move than you would normally see so uh, these are the little things to look for uh, they tend to be very nice from an intraday standpoint um, but as always, we'll go over some of those uh, types of details uh, later on Skype chat. As always, though, trade well. We'll talk to you later.